Elder C. W. Penrose spoke of the necessity of every public speaker being filled with the Spirit of the Lord in addressing an assembly of Latter-day Saints. He also spoke of the gospel which had been preached by the elders among the nations, and after close scrutiny and investigation of those principles which they preached, many embraced them and were baptized for the remission of their sins. They then received a witness from God testifying to their truth. They were then taught the principle of gathering, which they soon received and acted upon. Hence, thousands had gathered into these valleys where they could learn more of the ordinances of the gospel, might unite their energies, and fulfill the prayer of our Savior, that they might be one, even as he and his Father in heaven were one. He then made remarks on the priesthood which is placed upon the male members of this church, for the building up of the saints. Most of the saints who came from the old country were not, as some suppose, from the lowest walks of life, but from the ranks of the industrious or working classes, from the bone and sinew of the nation, who possessed moral courage enough to receive and obey truth as they found it, and were willing to risk the consequences. President Young was not opposed to the dissemination of education. He had always sustained and encouraged it, and as a people we ought to patronize our own publications which contained our principles, and lay aside the use of trashy works that come here in large quantities. He then defended the people against the unrighteous attacks made upon them of being guilty of murder and disloyalty to the government. We are here to build up, not to tear down, to create, not to destroy. Let parents set good examples before their children and keep them from mingling with the corrupt, who were to be found in the saloons and other places where the profane and wicked were wont to meet. He closed by a faithful admonition to both saints and sinners, and bore a strong testimony of the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ.